Good afternoon to you and our viewers. We're here in the Northwest Provincial Capital in Mahikeng at the Civic Center where the Youth League in the region, Lakamudi Rimolema, are expected to host a lecture where we commemorate the Youth Month. In this lecture, we'll see former Premier Supra Mahumapelo give the political address to the youth. I'm here joined by the Lakamudi Rimolema ANC Regional Chairperson, Vessels Moreng, just to give us more insights about this here meeting. Tell us, Mr. Moreng, what 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 are we to expect from the pre, the former premier's address uh, now the the chairperson of the ANC when he addresses the youth in this region? No, look, Sintling, my sister and our viewers at home, unlike ever before, we have used this June month to diagnose our problem. Because even psychology will tell you, for you to confront your challenges, you should first accept that you do have problems. Now, part of the problems we are experiencing as the country is that we have a serious issue of unemployment, and that unemployment central to its, its young people. So therefore, we have called someone with such an entrepreneurial skill as Premier Supra Mahumapil to come and assist us, to come and inculcate the spirit of entrepreneurship amongst young people. Because it's only through entrepreneurship that you can be able to confront challenges of unemployment like I've told you, societal challenges that, I, uh, that, 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 that are confronting us, issues of drugs, issues of teenage pregnancy. So we need a serious uh, uh, skills of entrepreneurship so that young people can be well equipped, young people can be well developed, so that such challenges will be able to confront them as young people. So basically, that's why today we have seen it deem it fit to call someone of Supra Mahumapolos understanding as far as issues of uh, uh, political and social economics are concerned. Now, tell us, Mr. Moreng, this also forms part of uh, Mr. Mahuma Apelo's visit to the 18 regions in the 18 months since his resignation as the Premier. It seems very clear that as the youth in Akamudri Molema, you guys have stood side by side with Mr. Mahuma Apelo. How do you expect that this year engagement will contribute to bringing synergy and strength back to this ailing party in this province? Look, the youth league in this region have always been consistent behind the support of Supra Ubaike Ramelis Mahumapolo because like we have said before we strongly believe that uh, what transpired for the past two weeks it was a concocted effort by some of the enemies. Now in line with what he has told our masses that he will be embarking on a journey of 18 sub regions. We also took advantage of that because we also expect him today to include it also in his address to us because we strongly felt that uh, what transpired, uh, the issue of resignation and so forth, I don't want to dwell much on that, we strongly felt that it was a concocted effort by the enemies outside and working with the enemies within. So we are also in, in support of, of his 18, 18 sub-region visit where he's going to speak to our masses. We are also here. We created a platform for him as our chairperson. We still are ready behind him because we are not political pendukas. When it's, when it's ready, this side, we change. We are not political chameleons. We are consistent in our support. We are firm and resolute in our support to Comrade Supra Mahumapelo, no matter how the weather looks like outside. But some may say that it seems that the ANC Youth League in the province is much fragmented. We see that there are others who are hosting their own memorial lecture in Moretele. Are you in any part part of this? And does it also go hand in hand with what you are, guys are trying to build as a youth league and the ANC in the province? Yes, and then my sister, you recall when I started this interview, I did tell you that we have diagnosed ourselves as the league. And we have came to a conclusion that we are at our weakest ever since the formation of this ANC Youth League. Now, all of those things, the faction, the fragmentation that, we, that, that the Youth League it has today is part of the challenges we have. That is why, as a solution to that, the guidelines for, the, for, the, for both regional conference, provincial conference that are there, we need to correct such. Because currently, the Youth League in, 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 in the province, for, uh, for, especially at, at the provincial level, it is led by older people. For instance, the provincial secretary, he was turning 38 on, on Wednesday. Such person, I mean, honestly speaking, naturally, he does not possess the interest of young people. He's old. Even nature dictated to him. So basically, we've got a problem like like you are saying that there's an event in Mor in, in Moritel. I we, we don't know anything about that I'm the regional secretary I I've been told I'm, I've been told telephonically that I've been suspended nationally saying there's no such thing so generally basically my sister we are at our weakest there, there's generally a uh, political chaos but uh, like I've said to you we appreciate what the national executive committee is doing there's a process to make sure that we rectify the chart and there's only one uh, process that can assist us the national 
conference that is sitting in September, where we are going to sit down and correct the mistake that we did in Galaga in 2014, in 2015, because we did a serious political accident where we elected Colin Maine, who today has collapsed our movement. Now we are going to correct that because we are young people. You must remember uh, the African National Congress Youth League is a political, is a preparatory school for the African National Congress. Now we, like, like I've said to you, it takes a, a real revolutionary. It takes an honest revolutionary to accept that we do have mistakes. We are going to correct it. It is clear that these are indeed revolutionary times when the ANC Youth League would need to find ways to actually build itself up from the ground. We are expecting that uh, the chairperson of the ANC, Mr. Supra Mahuma Bilu, will go to much lengths talking about how do we rebuild this party back to its former pride. Back to you guys in studio. Thank you, Sinclair. Hehe, <laughs> all the way from my Kang. Right now.